Today I am super pumped. We have the Anthem AVM70. This is a 15.2 channel dedicated processor. And by processor, it means that we don't have internal amplification. So we'll be connecting this in my dedicated theater room to my Monoprice Monolith 11X amplifier. Now in this video, we'll be doing an unboxing and an overview talking about some of the specs. We'll take a look at the rear panel to see what access we have. And I wanna give a big thanks to the folks at Audio Advice for lending me this unit to review for you guys. Now I'll have links for the Anthem AVM70 down in the description below, as well as some really other cool things like Audio Advice's free home theater builder tool. It's an excellent product to use to help you design your own home theater. Well, enough talking, let's go ahead and get to some unboxing. Now, like I said, this is a 15.2 channel processor. And so if you're considering something like this, you're already looking into the world of separates. And separates is basically just where we separate the processing from the amplification. Now this unit is a demo unit, so it may not be packaged exactly like you would get if you were to buy it brand new from Audio Advice. So keep that in mind. All right, so the first thing we have in the box is the ARC kit. So this is a microphone kit. So we'll unbox that here in just a second, but we'll lay that off to the side. Of course, we've got a quick start guide, Anthem remote control, power cable, and two wireless antennas. And of course, the AVM70 itself. And one thing I really love and appreciate about Anthem products is they're super stylish, very minimalistic on the front, but they're just absolutely gorgeous. As you can see on the front panel, we have very few controls, which is actually a good thing. We've got a button for menu, select, previous and next inputs, a mute button, a power button, and your main volume control. Booting it up with the remote control, you'll see that the Anthem boots up very fast and we've got this nice big display that shows the volume, your HDMI input, as well as your signal if we have one. In this case, we don't have it hooked up yet. And you can also see that it dimmed pretty quickly. That's a great feature to be able to have, but you have full flexibility of how bright you want the unit to be. So I can click the dim button on the remote and you can see right now it's at 4%. If you wanna crank that all the way up just to see what it looks like, We'll go all the way up to 100% so you can see it in all its glory. As you can see, that's a really bright image. And one thing that may be a little misleading is you have this big black bezel around that area, but the actual display portion of it is a much smaller size. Now this unit has support for Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, IMAX Enhanced, DTSX. We've got HDMI 2.1 because this is an 8K 2.1 compatible processor, and of course the Anthem Room Correction software built in. The AVM70 also has support for Chromecast, which is built in, as well as things like AirPlay and Spotify that allows you to stream all your favorite music through the system. Looking at the rear of the unit, this is what I call one sexy backside. Now starting at the top, we have dual Wi-Fi antennas, USB and Ethernet ports, three HDMI outputs with eARC, and seven dedicated 8K HDMI 2.1 inputs that support 8K60 or 4K120 pass-through, which is great for those that want to get the most out of your latest gaming console. If the amplifier you'll be connecting it to does not have XLR balanced inputs, the AVM70 offers unbalanced RCA outputs for all channels. We have some legacy audio inputs, three optical toss link inputs, as well as an optical out, two coaxial inputs, and three trigger outputs, which will allow you to easily turn on and off your amplifiers when this unit is powered on or off. If you're using an amplifier that has balanced XLR outputs, this is certainly the best way to connect to your amplifier. We've got balanced XLR outputs for all 15 of your channels, as well as two subwoofer outputs. All right, so now let's take a look at the ARC mic kit. So we're gonna slide this out, open this up, we'll take a look inside. So we've got the microphone here. See how much fancier that looks than your standard one that comes with Odyssey and the others? That is really nice. Got the USB-C cable here. 
So that'll attach right there and then plug into your computer. And one thing I love about Anthem is they don't include that goofy, what I call the rocket ship tripod that a lot of the other brands include with theirs. Now this is what I call a proper tripod. So we'll be using that to calibrate the system. I'll have a separate video on that, walking you through just the different features in Arc. And really I'm excited to see what has changed since the original Arc that I used. So we'll be using this setup to calibrate the Anthem. I'll be doing a separate video on that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. The AVM70 does come with a backlit remote, so that makes it really convenient when you're watching movies. Now this is the first unit that I've reviewed from Anthem in a long time. The last time I reviewed an Anthem product was back when I had an MRX1140. Now this was an AVR, but now we've got a dedicated processor, so I'm super stoked to be able to check this out. Now more than likely I will not be able to have this unit reviewed before M-Wave because we're just 14 days away from the Midwest AV experience. If you haven't heard of M-Wave, it's an event that I'm putting on in Kansas City with my partner Ryan. It's an amazing event. We started it last year and it's designed just for home theater enthusiasts like you. This year is already turning out to be exponentially larger than our first year in 2022. We have 18 incredible brands that will be exhibiting during the show, ranging from super affordable, mid-range, and even some high-end brands. Brands like Buckeye, Epson, Focal, Kaleidoscape, MadVR, JVC, Storm Audio, and so much more. We'll also have several full Dolby Atmos experience rooms from JTR, Martin Logan, SVS, and Perlison. We'll also be providing several side-by-side -side projector, TV, and speaker comparisons during the show, as well as a few other surprises. Stereo Integrity is bringing their new 24s to the show, so you'll get to experience what massive output and single digits feels like. Kyle from Life of Bliss is currently building several subs from GSG Audio that he'll be bringing to the show. Now he's making some really cool build out videos of these subwoofers on his channel. So I'll leave a link to his channel as well as those videos down in the description below. You guys are always saying that you wish you had a place to go to check out theater seating. Well, now is your chance. Both Row One and Valencia will be at the show exhibiting various models of their theater seating. So now's your chance to check them out in person. As you can see, I am super pumped about this event and I can't wait to meet many of you in just a few weeks. It's going to be an incredible weekend, so get your tickets today at MidwestAVExperience.com so you can come and experience the difference for yourself. Have an incredible week, God bless, and we will catch you in the next video.